we need to go from this angular error to an error in circumference, which means we have to, what's, we have to do what's called propagate this error through our calculation. So let me remind you what the equation we used was, was that the circumference was equal to 360 over the uh, angle we were talking about before, which we called alpha, times d, where d was the distance from CNA to Alexandria. Now, this alpha isn't exactly the same as this alpha over here, but it turns out that an error here uh, results in a corresponding error here. Now the question is, how do we figure out how a change in alpha changes our circumference? And there's many ways to do this, some involve some calculus, but a really simple way to do it is just to calculate our extreme cases. And what do I mean by that? Well, before, the alpha we used in this calculation was equal to 7.2 degrees. Due to this new error, this new angular error, we don't necessarily trust this number. We know it's about right, but it could be off by plus or minus, and this is the symbol for plus or minus, 1.4 degrees. So that tells us, I know that alpha is near 7.2, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. It's within 1.4 degrees. So the smallest alpha could be, I'll say alpha min, would be 7.2 minus 1.4, which would be 5.8 degrees. And alpha max would be 7.2 plus 1.4, which would be 8.6 degrees. That's our range of possibilities for alpha. And that's going to correspond to a range of possibilities for the circumference. In fact, let's use alpha min and use alpha max to calculate the circumference again. So I want you to enter in two new calculations for the circumference. And I want you to use the d we know from before, which is 5,000 stadia, as the distance between Siena and Alexandria. And remember, the stadium is 185 meters. And I want you to use alpha min to calculate a circumference and use alpha max to calculate a circumference. And enter those numbers here. Remember, we want to keep our answers in kilometers.